Minister, can you tell me the number of persons currently awaiting an assessment of need under the Disability Act 2005 in each local health office area in CH05? The corresponding figures for each area at the end of June 2020. Thank you. Minister Robert. Um, thank you, Chair, and thank you, Deputy, for raising the question and giving me an opportunity to answer this. So in August 2020, additional slauncher funding of 7.8 million was provided to the HSE to address the issue of overdue assessment of needs. The funding was provided on a once-off and strictly time-bound to eliminate all assessments of, news, of needs overdue by the 30th of June 2020. And while the number of overdue assessments needs stood at 6,558 in June 2020, through a combination of different measures by the end of September 2021, approximately 6,040 children had their assessment completed, an overall reduction of 92%. So I'm pleased to inform you, Deputy, that six, that six CHOs, including CHO5, um, which had an overdue assessment of need at the end of June, have now cleared their backlog. The breakdown of the 643 overdue assessments were um, Carlo Kilkenny, 80, Tipperary South Riding, 111, Waterford, 168, Wexford, 284. The number of overdue assessments at the end of June 2021 in CHO5, which is the largest fig latest figure available, was reduced to 180. There are more 19 in Carlo Kilkenny, 54 in Tipperary South Riding, 59 in Waterford, and 48 in Wexford. The deputy will also be aware that the 91, 91 children's network disability teams will be reconfigured in the coming weeks. And in Budget 22, we are providing additional funding, um, deputy, for the recruitment of therapists and admin staff. So the whole focus now at this moment, as Minister Donnelly has said, we're changing to a more agile approach in how we're now going to do the interventions. While we have cleared the assessment of needs, now it's all about intervention, the OTs, the physios, the speech and language, the behavioural therapists, the psychology, and us all working together as a collective team within health to ensure that our backlogs are, 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 are starting to clear, reducing our waiting times for the delivery of service. And I'm confident with the 10 million that Minister Donnelly has allocated to me within budget 2022, that that work starts now. Uh, and the HSEs are in a position ready to, to deliver it. Um, thank you, uh, Minister. And I, I do again want to welcome the funding of 7.8 million. And this funding was crucial. Um, and the reduction of the 92% in the waiting list nationally is very impressive. And I know that this was a, um, something that you had been committed to, because I know and I wanted to welcome you when you came to Carlo, you had given that commitment. And I do welcome the reduction again, and particularly in my own area, Carlo Kilkenny. But Minister, the challenge is now, of course, is to build on that and to ensure that those that have been assessed as in need get the service they need as quickly as possible. Because we all know there have been significant waiting lists for speech and language assessments and therapy, also for occupational therapy. We all know of the waiting lists for um, you know, young children. And you know, like Minister, this is so important. So can I ask you, what are your plans uh, with your department to do this again? Well, have you a time frame on this, Minister? Because with children in particular, you know yourself, timing is crucial. Thank you. Um, thank you again, Deputy. So let's be very, very clear. In Budget 2021, I secured 100 therapy posts. And halfway through the year, I was, because of the way PDS was rolling out, I was fortunate, along with Minister Donnelly, to secure an additional 85 therapist posts. Going in, uh, coming out of this Budget 2022, it's 190 therapists, admin staff. So when you think about that, that addition to the teams, that's 91 teams, we're adding in the admin staff as well. The whole purpose of the admin staff is I have speech and language OTs, physios already filling out their paperwork. I need them delivering the intervention. I need them delivering on that service. So the whole purpose of having those admin staff will actually ensure that our therapists are delivering the service. I am confident with the 10 million that my action plan in relation to start building, reducing the waiting list, reducing the backlog and reducing people not get, getting those horrendous letters. And it's important for me to say at last Concorla that the horrendous letters that the HSC sent out without actually having a full assessment done is very unfair in parents. Thank you, Minister, and I want to welcome that, that the letters are sent out from the HSC are really unfair on parents, and that's unacceptable. I know that's something that you said you would also address with me, and I want to welcome that. Also, I want to welcome all the new posts that you have, 190 therapists. I mean, Minister, that is pure dedication and commitment, and I know how committed you are. Can I just ask you, 
will you be setting targets for assessment and treatment? So if someone was you know, to contact you know, their, their occupational therapist or whatever, that there will be some sort of a time frame now, because I do know how committed you are. And I just think again, Minister, communication is absolutely vital here for the parents, for the children, but also I think the HSE need to play a, a bigger part in this because I do think there has been definitely lack of communication there and I would ask that you would work on that. Again, I want to thank you for getting all this funding in the budget because I know how hard you have worked to secure this. Thank you. Um, Deputy, thank you very much. So you asked the question there in relation to timelines. I'm a stickler for timelines. Uh, so in actual fact, there will be KPIs set completely and let there be no doubt about this. I will know exactly how many are on each exact team around the country. I will know exactly what the caseload is. I know exactly and I will be meeting with the HSE on a month on a monthly basis with each of the CHO nines or CHOs and out of that I will have the team leads and they will tell me exactly what they're delivering on OT, speech and language, physio and psychology and behaviour and I will monitor them on a month by month basis and once a month then I will sit down with all the team leads within disability. So there is no hiding here in relation to the delivery of service. There is no hiding under the rock from actually not knowing what's going to be done. There's going to be open transparency and I will be, and I'll save every deputy the problem of putting in a PQ to wonder exactly where we are because I will be releasing them on a monthly basis. There's no hiding on this. We need to ensure that there's complete and utter delivery of service for the families, and most important for the little ones, that need that access timely intervention. That's why I've been allocated the 10 million that I'm very grateful, Minister Donnelly, to have received.